Chat, let's watch this. India sucks. Don't ever come here. All right. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. All right. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Hello, so he left the bus. Varanasi, India. The holiest city in India. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. Just me. Huh? Just me. No, no, no. It's okay. No, I'm okay. Thank you. Oh, God. So wh wh where is it? Huh? Wh what is the city that is on? It's a uh, Banaras, Varanasi. Uh huh. And it's in UP. Oh. I, I other day I was talking about like I've never been to this place. Like, oh. I kind of wanted to go. Oh okay. To just check once. They're like flies. They just come to you when you get off buses. They fucking the tuk tuk drivers. Anyway, so what was I saying? But that <laughs> that is so true. Every <laughs> time you know when we went to Imachal. We left the bus. There was like, <laughs> like ten or fifteen uh, tuk tuk guys in taxi. No, it was taxi drivers. Yeah. And uh, there's a taxi, 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 taxi. Yeah, and they uh, don't leave you uh, unless you say you. No, I don't want. Yeah, you but know? you have to be very precise. I mean, they mm. they are there to get their bread, right? Uh, some of them, yeah. Yeah, that, that's how it is. But uh, <laughs> also, it's a huge competition because there are a lot of tuk tuk guys and taxi taxi yeah, guys. You know, yeah. so all they, they want to approach first yeah but but it's not a good feeling uh that, that's what i felt by, yeah yeah, it's yeah. Like, as soon as you leave the bus yeah, they, yeah. it's like mo you get mobbed it, it is irritating it, for like yeah. they do it with indians also yeah I, I felt like i i wouldn't mind that i i go outside and then there is you know yeah, yeah. them but uh, they literally wait near the bus <laughs> yeah I yeah a bus. i was on it for like 15 hours and we're in Varanasi. all right not sure what to expect. I don't have a place to stay. Hello, my friend. No, I'm okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Just wait. Just wait. Okay. This is your place. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good. Your place. Yeah, here. Your place. Yeah, yeah. Here. Yep. Thank you. All right. Okay. Just leave me alone. All right. Running away now. Why am I running with tuk tuk drivers right now? They really just bother me. These tuk tuk drivers. They just look. They're just like crowding around. To be fair, I do, I do look like a lost puppy right now. Uh, I have no place to go. <laughs> it's kind of, it's a bit rude. I really don't want to be ripped off. Who? I'm just going to start walking. Okay, I don't know if he's, this is a character. Like, for me, <laughs> like, I, uh, okay, a lot of people think this and don't say. That's true. Yeah. Um, And there are situations that I have been alone and this happened to me mm. and I got, I got slightly uncomfortable. Mm. Uh, especially there was like one this time there was like three guys and kept following me and I kept trying to get away mm -hmm. and they kept chasing me and then at some point it goes like from fine to okay to okay I'm scared yeah, now yeah you know yeah. Um, so I, I can't understand I'm just saying like maybe like is I don't know if he plays like the, the like a stupid stupid foreigner that wants to you know just I for, think he for has, the content like uh, he's a bit impatient guy yeah he seems like yeah walking and see what happens <laughs> no i'm okay i'm okay thank you all right thanks they just follow you this guy's been following me apparently that's a bit scary i understand well, we're out of delhi guys we finally made it out of the hell hole uh, also if you don't Most have context about india right landscape that is delhi and we've made it to oh <laughs> Not much better. You heard what he said Not about the Delhi? Delhi, the posa apocalyptical <laughs> polluted landscape that is Delhi. <laughs> I mean, that's true. That is true. Yeah. It is, especially during those months. Mm. Uh, I, I don't know. You see, it, it, is, it is really tough to live there. Yeah, it definitely. was very bad. Mm. Like I never been in the in, yeah. in a place like that. Your, your nose started bleeding. Yeah, my nose of... started bleeding. There was. Uh, I, I mean in certain places but never like that yeah you know yeah. like it was literally smoke you can't see the man it was crazy you, no it was insane it, mm. it was insane I was like, uh, and then you see hundreds thousands probably millions of people there live in Delhi and so I'm like how the hell do you guys are living here yeah no mask at all ah oh, this is fine this is every year blah, blah, blah. Mm. yeah probably gonna die like way sooner than the, the rest of the you know, the, yeah, yeah. if you live in Rajasthan, probably gonna live longer just because yeah. you don't live in Delhi. You know, which apparently is not much better. Not much better. 
Look, another guy's following me. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. Jesus fucking Christ, India. This <laughs> area is a very polarizing place. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I think I'm leaning towards hating it right now. This is uh, disgusting. It's the most polluted country I've ever been in, hands down, not even close. This makes me want to hug a tree and become an environmentalist and hire Greta Thunberg or whatever the f her name is. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm exercising. I don't need to write, I'm exercising, yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm not lost, I'm exercising. I'm carrying these bags for weights. Yeah, Delhi was um, disgusting. Really nasty city. Hello. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. I'm okay. <laughs> Just exercise. This expression is me. I feel like or every any foreigner. Like mm. he goes, you and then he says, No, no, no I'm okay. City. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this, this, this smile. No, no, I'm okay. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, but inside no, you're no, not no, okay. No, no, no. no, no, no. Uh, okay, I'm okay. Thank you. No. I'm okay. Just exercising. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, USA. Yeah. Ah, number one. Okay. Nice. Good. Yeah. Good. Good yeah. man. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey. Indian number one. Hindustan, Zindabad. Zindabad. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm surprised that he literally spoke with the he yeah. spoke to them, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, Delhi was disgusting. Absolutely, <laughs> horrendously <laughs> polluted city. I was there for like three days. I, mean, I want to count how many times he's going to say that. I mean, it is true. It is true. It I is completely true. agree. I lived there and it is a shit I, I hate to live there. When it comes to pollution. Um, it's I, I didn't hate to live in India. Hmm. I hated to live in, in uh, Delhi. Delhi. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I, yeah, I completely agree. Like... Not only was Delhi, very polluted, but also felt very unsafe for me. Yeah, D Delhi is like very unsafe for for many people, for mm -hmm. women, and the air quality is so bad. Yeah, there is nothing good about it except like uh, food and other stuff. But but it's so but so. It really doesn't matter if you're not feeling safe, you know. But then there's like a certain part, like okay, except like that part of the year that um is like extremely polluted. Even like in the rest of the year, there's always like this foggy thin layer of fog. thin layer. Yeah, you know, like you never see the sun like you see in it here. Yeah, you like never when see, you never see blue sky. You That's never so true. see blue sky, which mm. for me, I was shocked. Yeah, you know, uh, you see here. I mean, mm. come on. Uh, but here, here it's different. But so, if you go to other parts of India, in few parts, mm -hmm. you you see because there is less pollution. Yeah, but definitely Delhi and also Mumbai is also becoming the same. Yeah, that 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 part in Mumbai, uh, uh near the sea, mm -hmm. that it, it was kind of weird, you know, mm -hmm. like you know, like even in the South India, mm -hmm. near South, the the South the Delhi, South Mumbai, South Mumbai, that water part mm -hmm. was very polluted. Also, yeah. it was very sad. The Bombay beaches are very polluted. Mm. Yeah, very crowded also. And I started to develop a cough. Just cows shitting in the streets and people chewing tobacco and spitting it in the streets and people burning plastic. I mean, even here it's not much better. No, I'm just exercising. No, exercise. exercise. Oh, the guy yeah, came well, again. Yes, I need to lose weight. So, yeah, okay, all right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Okay, bye bye. What is the country? No, 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 it's okay. Your country? Uh, USA. USA? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Wow, so that guy followed me from the bus. That's crazy. Uh, I feel yeah. like I have numerous stalkers. That's a scary. Yeah. If you're That's new. too much, man. I don't like that. This is cool. All right, let's <laughs> this is the... Alisa, if there is one thing that I love about India, it is freaking cows, man. Uh, like they are it. so cute, man. I wouldn't mind at all to have these cows mm. in Portugal. I, I think they... They add character. They add something to the scene. It's just like that part. I, I I fell in love because I think they also they are very beautiful creatures and animals. Mm -hmm. um, yo, very soon. Welcome, welcome. All right, let's see if let's see if Varanasi can change our mind about India. Varanasi. <sighs> I mean, keep, also okay. like he probably went. He's in the north, you know. So he's probably not in the best regions to appreciate india as yeah. a foreign shirt yeah because the contrast is too big yeah also knowing uh i just watched uh this like three four minutes of the video 
there are like certain type there are like three four types of foreigners okay yeah some people they really admire vanarasi van banaras and it's really crowded okay? okay and some people they just don't like it because they don't like crowd and th- those small streets mm-hmm. and all that stuff you know so i think he's one of those that th- i don't think he's going to like it yeah you know is like like you said in the beginning is like you love it or you hate it but yeah. i think you also can be neutral i think i incline myself to the neutral uh parts because what i mean by neutral is like i can see the good and i can see the bad mm. and i'm neutr- neutral because i think some things they they balance each other mm. but uh, i want to see more about his opinion yeah. keep an open mind in india's holiest city <laughs> also i have no idea where i'm going i'm just walking right now uh But India is very charismatic. Like, like this scenario here is reminding me uh, to the place where we lived. You know that that road that we used to go to the gym mm-hmm. and uh, to have like pani puri and those things. Yeah. The roads in general, they always feel like the same. Yeah. It's gray sky. There's always like dust. It, yeah, dusty. this dusty thing in 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 the, in the far away. The scooters, the cows, and. Uh, At yeah. least North India, Hello. or the the parts that I have okay. been, right? Okay, right? Not sure what's going on. Okay, yeah, I'll come with you. Not sure where, but is that your pet cow? Ooh, where are you What? taking? We're going in homeboy's compound. If I get in fucking ah, Jesus, ah, push, push. Yeah, fuck. Oh, I'm stuck now. Why? Yeah. Thanks, thanks. Thank you. Now they're gonna run. It's <laughs> like, imagine, no, imagine no, there's no clue where we're going. Oh, it's a bit uh, scary. Hey, yeah. Hey. <laughs> the dog is yeah. cute though. Me and the gang here are going to looks like a little temple. Hindu temple. Oh. Yeah, I thought they're going to rob or something. <laughs> Special place. Well, one thing I must say about India is mm. very dirty country, but the temples. Immaculately clean. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> it is true. I never noticed that. All right. But I, I never, I never been in one. Uh, mm. Not sure. You, you took me to that. Um, what, what is the name of that temple in the Mumbai? But then it was I so know, crowded. I didn't take you. Your friends recommended you. Yeah. And you wanted to go there, and I was with you. Yeah. So we went there. No, we went there, but we didn't went inside the temple yeah, because, because it was, it was super crowded. crowded. It was crowded, and we came back. What was the name? It was Siddhi Vinayak Mandir. Hmm. It was the, big. A big I, I told you that <laughs> I'm not sure if you're gonna like it because it's yeah. really crowded in there. Yeah, like it was insanely crowded. So this one here probably is a, a, a very small temple. Looks kind of nice to visit, you know? It's just small. Comparing yeah. to the one in Mumbai, I was like, no, I'm that not, like <laughs> not going to go there. That's like very famous mm-hmm. in Mumbai. Yeah. And I think that's why your friends recommended you. Yeah. To But I saw from the outside and I saw like the, you know, the mob of people. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So they took him to the, to the temple. Mm-hmm. Not sure who it's for. You can tell they're really proud of this guy. They're all here showing me around. Taking time out of their day to show a foreigner around. A very special place. Oh. Try to be respectful here. Look at me. I was hating on India five minutes ago. and. Oh, rupees. Oh, yeah. He uh, <laughs> thought it thought he was for free. <laughs> It, oh, it should know by now. Nothing is free. <laughs> no, it's mostly free, but they are just asking to of put course, money. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen, you gotta oh, pay God. the white tax, okay? Yeah, it's a white tax. The white tax you're gonna pay it anyway. Uh, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 rupees, rupees. Like he was literally saying that he was just hating, and yeah. then he started to change his brain. Yeah, yeah, he was starting to appreciate. Yeah, change his the mind. Like, oh, okay, oh. never mind. <laughs> Put some money. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my friends. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaskar. Okay, bye bye. Thank you. Ciao. See you. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay. 
Check it out. Not to be too graphic, but this is the, the tobacco. The tobacco speed. speed. <laughs> that uh, is littered all over the ground here in oh India. Oh, that's. I thought it might just be a del. I I will say <laughs> that it is it is one of the. Mm. The things that for me was, uh, I, I wouldn't, I rather have tobacco, uh, those small things, the end of the tobacco on the mm. streets, than the, the speed of stain of tobacco, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, you, you see it everywhere. Like you go on the, on the, on the rickshaw and all of a sudden you see, <laughs> you know, oh. <laughs> Is that what they do, right? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> and some people do they like they they make this hole and they put here and it goes like that. Yeah. So there was this uh, there was this old man, uh, near my house um, in the village. Uh -huh. So he used to sit in like on the this bed and there was washroom there. So he used to do the and this <laughs> on the washroom. <laughs> but yeah. But but here is because like it's um uh, is that what. No, as I was a kid, I was uh, raised that, and probably also there, I don't know, but that spitting on the floor is is rude. You know, you should not that do that. No one teaches you. <laughs> yeah, you, you should not do that, you yeah, know. That no one teaches you. Yeah. I, I don't remember if anyone teaches you to spit, yeah. not spit on the road. Roads yeah. are like public. People think, oh, it's a public property, you know. Yeah. And then just do whoever. I mean, it doesn't no... mean, I'm also not going to say that, oh, I never spit. Like, e even probably the other day I was running and uh, I got like this huge coughing. And then I was running. And what happens to me sometimes, and probably you guys, uh, if you are in the chat you probably relate to these sometimes you're running and you have your uh you have your mouth open because you're running a bit too fast and my speed starts getting like very thick and then it starts getting really hard for me to breathe so sometimes i i speed but mm. it's like it is different no it's not maybe it's not that different no, but um, but uh there is this certain thing there's tobacco it's not my habit they there is like <clears throat> this color red okay yeah so sometimes if you're like uh, go to these public buildings mm -hmm. Uh, near the staircase in the corners they do like mm. so uh, all these corners are like filled with these yeah. red colors because, because if it's like human speed it will dry, it will and, dry and, and disappear and disappear right yeah but uh, I, I can see I can see what you're saying because uh, it, it is but I, I, I was born in Kanpur and Kanpur people they like eat, they, they eat a lot of these kind of tobacco mm. and the roads are is it like good is it, is it's it... an addiction it's, a, it's not a good thing mm. it's not healthy yeah, they they it put like below you, the, the tongue or something, right? Yeah, and it gives you uh, mouth cancer sometimes. To oh, people. that's that's awesome. Yeah. Healthy <laughs> thing, but uh, it's not, and it's quite disgusting. I'm sorry to say. What's he got hanging up there? Holy shit! The meat shop boys. He's dismembering a goat. The meat oh, shop. Goat. Damn. It's a goat. Where are you from? America. Hey, America. Yeah. Wow. This is one of those things that if I show my mom, she will be like, <laughs> "What is this?" <laughs> you know, the uh, the, this is uh, not allowed here. Um, and I think most of European countries, you cannot yeah. sell uh, meat like this in public. Mm. Uh, for obvious reasons, health reasons, right? Like, because if the, the meat will probably get rotten very quickly, if it is like in high temperatures. Also, one of the things that for me as a foreigner, it kind of bothered me a bit. I love the vegetable marketing, it, uh, the market. It was mm. insane. I love to go there every Friday mm -hmm. uh, to buy the veggies, to buy the fruits. They were so nice and so cheap. In Delhi, right? Yeah, in Delhi. In, uh, but on uh, on the side, there was like these guys selling fish and, yeah, on and the meat other side. Yeah. On, on the other side, on top of that small hill, mm -hmm. right? And you could see all all like uh flies on top of the the meat and in the fish and all the things that thing for me i was slightly kind of mm. a bit disgusted mm. you know like yeah because i was even thinking that oh i'm not gonna eat that but i was even thinking like please don't eat this you know yeah, yeah. maybe they will not die maybe you'll i i don't know but it is, it is definitely something that uh it can be risky yeah. for the for the the health but I guess like maybe people don't know and they just 
are used to that's how all these things were so there is also like a, i think the when they cook they wash it mm-hmm. here people don't wash because of that reason because here it's clean yeah here the, the when you buy you know it was properly treated is it stayed in the fridge or or in a frozen place and then yeah. you buy is is well packed so you don't really need to you can wash it but you don't really have to mm. it already comes mm-hmm. uh well treated but uh it, it, i felt like so i i uh, sometimes i thought to myself man please don't buy these things you know mm-hmm. <laughs> but it, the, the reality is like maybe they don't no they actually had a choice They had a choice. Like there was a meat shop wherever we bought things. No, that, but the thing is, it's a price difference. Like not a lot of mm, people they can afford from these shops. Yeah, because it's slightly cheaper. Yeah, you know? that is true. So, but I don't know. For me, mm-hmm. that 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 made me made me concerned. Yeah. Do you eat the head? Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, yeah. Delicious. Del- Very delicious product. Uh, Indian rupees seven hundred. Seven. I miss these prices. Seven hundred rupees for one goat. Seven hundred rupees. One kg. One kg. Kg. All right. Welcome. I think. Welcome in India. Thank you very much. Okay, my friend. Bye bye. See you. Seven hundred rupees for a full goat. One kg. One kg. Maybe with. I, I think tax. that was the the price for him. Plus white tax. Yeah. Can I get two samosa? Two samosa. Two samosa. Yes. How much? 500 rupees each. <laughs> should really sanitize my hands after shaking hands with the goat slaughterers, but um not left with much of a choice. <laughs> Cheers. I want to eat some also. Uh, very good. Very good. This chat is the best part in India. This uh, street food. Yeah. It is the best part. There are places this is kind of seem the seem slightly clean. It's kind of I don't know. I don't know. And you never know, right? But there are places that, you know, there are some shops. And you can see for like you should definitely figure it out if you go to India uh and you're foreign, be very careful with water. Uh that's like the main thing. Yeah. If it's usually if it's the the water w- was boiled, it d- probably going to be fine, mm. you know? But um these Yeah, but it it's it's a why it's wise choice to keep your own bottle. Yeah, plastic water, bottle. Water bottle. Yeah, filtered water 100% all the time. Uh but I, I wish I could try a few more uh, street foods mm. which I didn't because I I was like a bit afraid yeah. unless it looked like very very clean. Yeah. Next time we'll go and try because if we go to Delhi, Delhi is best for street food. Yeah. Remember that time in Rajasthan that you you had like what was like those fried things? It was made of uh, uh, some dal. Uh huh. And uh, it was pakora. Oh. Uh, small pakoris. Yeah, in the fried, it was like a I package. It, it, and it was like Rajasthani. It has like Rajasthani flavor. It was But so good. I don't know how fried. you ate from that Deep place. Fried. It was that oil and that pan were so bad. So it was. It was really yummy though. I mean, but that's a also, thing. That's the thing. Indian I don't know. Stomach. Yeah, you have an Indian stomach. I don't know if I, you know, if we have like the that same food, probably I will get sick. Just no, because, you won't get no? sick. No, you think so? No, I think so. Oh. Because I, it's it's fried. So that that's the thing. I never know exactly. I know I'm gonna get sick in India at mm. least once. Mm. This last time I stayed there a few more times, so I got mm. sick like two or three times. Mm. Uh, but I just never know what is gonna be. No, but also uh, the the m- most important thing is you should know the amount. Okay, if you're eating samosas like a lot of them, definitely you're gonna get sick. Yeah. So Indian street food is mostly is like you don't eat a lot of mm-hmm. it. Not eat. Don't eat it like a food. Okay, it you know, it is like a snack. Yeah. Yeah. Don't eat a lot. Except if it was like that corner that we went. We had the ice food. <laughs> oh, We had pani puri, samosa. Pani uh, puri, samosa, and uh, and uh, oh. the dahi chaat. Oh, cha- oh, the, the, the yogurt. Oh, oh, what is that? Uh, uh, what is the place? That very famous place in the. Bikaner, Haldirams. No, Haldirams. 
Oh man. You really like Haldirams. Uh, I, I really like the Haldirams with the one with the yogurt on top. Raj Kachori. Oh my fucking god, it's so good. <laughs> that was really good. That was so And you don't find that anywhere uh, except Sen, if you ever go to, you have to try. You have to try Pani Puri. What is the name of the one? Raj Kachori. Oh man. But you'll only find in in oh, maybe that, Punjab. That was so good. And Delhi. So good. I think we had we how many times we had like seven oh, times. Every time we went there we had <laughs> Every time we went to the mall we had that. That's true. Very good. Wow, it looks like these people are living along the side of Okay, the also I'll tell you this. This is the perception that people from here have about India. This exact thing is most of the time what people see about India. Mm. They don't see the, the well-developed areas. They don't see the nice city areas. They don't even understand that probably India has more developed cities than a lot of places in Europe. Yeah. May not have uh, like better health, uh, you know, conditions or better whatever, um, or better hospitals or in general, you know, like, except like it's private. I'm talking mm. about like public service, you know, uh, which European countries in terms of like public mm -hmm. service and uh, healthcare, national healthcare and all these things, mm -hmm. we do pretty well. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, sometimes uh, when I speak with other, with my friends, mm -hmm. I wish that they could see what I see or what I saw in this case and understand that India is not only this that yeah. we are watching. Yeah. Because 99% will have an opinion that this is India. Yeah. But is this like the majority of the India? It, it's not, mm -hmm. definitely. And uh, also you have been in like these bigger cities, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. If you go to these small villages and things, yeah. things are not like that. But not as polluted. Definitely not not as, as dirty also. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like a, there is like a lot of buildings and all their uh -huh. houses and people are living. But it's not all slum. You know? Yeah, and and also they are so unaware that exists uh, exists uh, places uh, with beautiful beach, like uh, the south that you uh, that you have different kind of people in yeah. India, different uh, skin color, the different uh, you know the the Asian looking yeah. Indian. Uh, so we are so unaware of that world. All we see is. I feel like the, the main notion is like w exactly what you said. All you gave us that notion oh, yeah. about like this very North Indian uh, stereotype look of an Indian girl and mm. an Indian guy in Indian accents. It, I think it's more it's more like uh, they represent more South Indian looks mm -hmm. because they specifically pick some girl who has like a slightly darker skin mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to show and represent India. Uh -huh. And they also show like a lot of these slums and especially yeah. slum dog millennials like literally fucked up the whole <laughs> image. <laughs> and also, you know what? A lot of these uh, independent filmmakers, they make these kind of films because they uh, seem to be like different and exotic and all that bullshit. Mm. So they make, they intentionally make these kind of films mm -hmm. doing slums and all that shit to enter these uh outside India oh, occidental western film festivals okay okay I see so there is this this criteria of making film mm -hmm. to get selected in film schools uh film festivals oh, I didn't which know is that. strange yeah <laughs> yeah but I I want to show you something Tell this me. only happens in India look at this thing mm -hmm. there is this uh thing to cook food okay. and there is this Indian toilet seat wait where <laughs> Where is the toilet seat? <laughs> this will have. This is the toilet seat. No, the this bucket. The, no, 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 no. Okay. Check uh, near the. Give me the mouse. Okay. Take take the mouse. Where, where is the toilet? Then this where is th Indian toilet. Oh. This is kitchen. I don't. Th I don't think they use it. I yeah. Don't <laughs> I, I don't think th this must be for fire. Okay. This is for fire and put the. They put the, the fire food. and they. Uh, oh, they cook here and they. Poop here. No, they don't poop here. I think it was. He meant was. He used be... to be. He used to be. Yeah. Mm, an old Indian toilet. Yeah. Man, the, Shad, the first time. This is a very interesting artistic image. Yeah. For me. <laughs> yeah. The first time, Shad, that uh, I I was desperate to go to the to the bathroom 
because I was not doing well for my stomach. And uh, then they sent me to uh, one of these Indian towns. And it was not even like this. It was just a hole? It was just a yeah. very small hole. Very small hole? The, uh, okay, I'll say like this. Like this side. Hmm. You know? And I was like, what the hell? Where is the toilet? Where is like the things, you know? Um... And th there was no paper, mm -hmm. uh, no jet spray. There was nothing. It was literally just a hole. Yeah, you go with your own water. Oh, you go with your own water? Yeah, either you take like this box, a plastic box filled with water. <laughs> so my grandma, she uh -huh. lives, uh, it, it's in village, okay? And uh, before there was no toilet, okay? So uh -huh. you, you go to these fields yeah, with yeah. your water and all that stuff. Recently, they got it done and the... Uh, uh, it's not they don't have toilet seat it's a hole and you put your feet okay and the the surface of the toilet is like slightly bent okay so if you sit and it feels like you're going backward oh so your, my pressure gets so fucked up there oh and and then you go you go with but, this bucket okay but well, i'm so confused i'm sorry mm. how do you use the bottle <laughs> How the fuck? Like, do you put water on your hands okay. and then you 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 clean your okay, ass? You you squat, Indian squat. Okay. Squat. Then you you do this to your ass? No. You, you put the water. You put the water like this. Take the water and clean it. <laughs> take the water. So you actually put <laughs> clean. Take the water. Clean your ass. Clean your ass. Clean so, your oh, ass. you throw it or you put your, your uh, hand in the shit? You create your own style. Whatever you feel comfortable What with. is your style? I, <laughs> I keep throwing the water. Uh, I take a lot of water. I keep throwing the water and keep doing uh, that. Oh, there is no toilet paper. So, you you go uh, get uh, go out of the toilet with a wet ass. Okay, Shad. <laughs> so... <laughs> But if you go to villages, most likely you'll have to... Okay, so you... The, okay, let me... Uh, chat, uh, this is new to me. Okay, so you pick up the bottle. You have to Indian squat. It can be like a you, you put box You put the bottle... Mug. Okay, you put the, 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 the mug, the mug mm -hmm. on the... And then you throw to your ass. You, you'll have to keep the mug near your... Okay. So you keep squat. throwing? Yeah. Oh, so you keep putting water and you keep... Yeah, and you'll have to... And then, does that clean? No, then you have to go no, there. Yes, you'll have to go there and clean. <laughs> Holy shit. And then, then you have to with wash your hands. hand. Yeah, with the soap. And then and you don't... <laughs> you wash your hands with the soap or something. Man. <laughs> Man. I will say a water jet is a really good invention then. <laughs> Water jet is perfect, way yeah, better than toilet is. paper. But yeah. the the bottle thing, I I don't know. People still use it. Really? Can you imagine? No, I oh, can't. In a lot of rural areas, yeah. No, I can't imagine that. <laughs> Man. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I, I literally zoned out, chat. Um, we have something else. Uh, no hands needed. Uh, yo, ready to welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're watching this video called uh, maybe a bit In controversial. India sucks. Don't ever come here. This guy made this video. Yeah, it's like a just vlog. Watching and seeing. Yeah. Like, uh... And along the way, we're telling a few stories, and I just got to know like that you guys use a bottle. Not everyone. Not right? everyone, of course. Like maybe in the rural areas. In rural areas. Yeah. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Namaste. I'm from USA. But everyone, America. America. Everyone is like always nice. Yeah. But there is this big but if you're a foreigner, you never know if it's genuine. Mm. You are always aware, like, it's like, is this guy really being nice to me? Especially if he's a stranger. If he's like someone that you know or a friend yeah. of a friend, yeah. oh, it's gonna be completely fine. Yeah, but yeah. strangers on, on the road, mm. you're always like Always like they have this this thing in the back of your mind. Am I gonna get scammed? Yeah, all the time. Mm. America, yeah, but I see. But I would say like uh, people are are, are really nice in general. Kamala Harris, Kamala, Kamala Harris. Indian. <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't understand. Yeah. yeah. All right. And it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I love I love that. <laughs> it, it is so this cute. Is not. Yeah. And these they I are do like, to you. There I, is a like slight difference in like a lot of stuff. Uh -huh. Like uh, you say this is no, this is yeah. Uh-huh. You know? Yeah. 
and this is yeah yeah there's a lot there's of there's like a lot yeah. of knots what's this okay sure ye le bab log rakhte hain yes i understand uh huh Oh, wow, they're making food. I'm going to make chai for him. Oh, roti. Oh, roti. Ah, cool. Namaste. Hello. <laughs> a little fire. Uh, oh, they have big ones. That's a vibe. See, so, that, that's, that's, or, that's how original roti okay. looks like. Yeah. Not like mine. Roti is really good, though. Mm. You do it here. Selfie. Okay, let's take selfie. Yes. <laughs> just because he's white. Well, I think he's just introducing me to all the workers. All right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, we're just going to hang out at the construction site today. Forget the hotel. <laughs> you won't find this in the guidebook. Namaste. Oh, uh, he's going to take a picture? Selfie. Yeah, let's take a selfie. Yes. Oh, smoothie. Okay, thank you, thank you. Fresh Delicious. fruits. Very good. I think she put some kind of like hydration supplement in here. It kind of tastes like sulfur. I don't know, they drink it here in this part of the world. I think it's disgusting, but she put just a little bit in there, so I can't really tell. <laughs> this guy, what the fuck, bro? Yeah. After that, what, what, what is that thing? Is she is talking it's like... It's just a fruit juice, and sometimes uh, they put like salt or something like that. Mm. Some people. Okay. And but, some, they put some masala in it, so I think that's why you oh, like Oh, probably it. the masala. Yeah, something. Our bus ride. It's probably good for your boy. And this is the unfortunate reality of life in India. It's very dirty. Cows eating trash. Yeah, we yeah, saw that's, every... that's, that's the very really sad. That's really sad. sad. Yeah. Cows eating trash. Dogs, dogs eating, eating trash. trash. Remember when we left the, the the society that we live on? There was always yeah. man. I can never shut as someone that you know glad you know was lucky enough to to be born in mm. uh, in Portugal. And when I used to you know we used to leave the society and there was like this big pile of trash with those mm -hmm. three, and every day there used to be one or two guys going there and they just scavenge the trash mm -hmm. that was probably their job mm -hmm. they scavenge the trash trying to find things mm -hmm. i probably to resell probably to sell that to make some money mm -hmm. but those are like the kind of uh pictures that i have in my mind that gave me so much gratitude for my life and even when you're thinking that your life sucks mm. and you're always always having these dramas and shit in your head and yeah. you know always getting depressed for none you know something that you know, uh, a youtube comment or something think about that guy you know i i in that that's the kind of shit that um or whenever we came from imachal and yeah. i saw hundreds of people sleeping on the highway to delhi mm. hundreds chat like literally no roof on top of theirs on the side of the highways that was insane to me i was like yeah. fuck man there was there was this one day we we had to catch up the train from delhi to chandigarh uh -huh. and uh, it was an early morning train we woke up at like three or something and the train was around 4 30 or something and we were on the cab and we saw this guy with the hand cart, the big cart with a lot of uh, stuff on it. And yeah. he was like uh, carrying, doing, it. carrying it for 3.30 or 4 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. And to go to the market. We were like whining about waking up so early yeah. one day. Yeah. And maybe he's doing this, this job every day. Yeah. That, that's the kind of realities that I feel like, you know what? <laughs> I feel like every year or every few years, I feel like it's important for us to go back to India yeah. because it is so easy to just get comfortable yeah. and uh, and takes things for, for, granted, for granted, you yeah. know? Yeah. And whenever you go and see other realities, I, 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 I highly recommend any person that was born in any first world country to go to a place, I, not a specific only India, but yeah. maybe uh, Africa, South Asia. You know, there are so many places that maybe they are not as developed as mm. the first world places. And just see different realities. Understand yeah. how uh, 
lucky you got just you were born in uh, in one of those European countries, you know, because yeah. it's a huge difference. It is a huge difference. Huge difference. Yeah, when I see people here and there, it is a huge difference. Huge difference. And also, you don't see people scavenging I, the trash. You know, like you see people that are paid like one lakh a month to clean the trash. You yeah. know, and they also have like a proper equipments for that, proper clothes for that. Yeah, yeah. And in uniforms. India, people literally are cleaning, going inside the gutter with normal clothes, no safety. Yeah. And that's really sad. And sometimes I feel this very helplessness kind of thing yeah. and also that guilt yeah. but then you cross and you just avoid the guilt yeah. you know it's, it is such a strange feeling yeah. but it but it definitely gives you for me you was wonderful in many ways going to India mm -hmm. uh, I'm very grateful not only that I met you but mm -hmm. in many other parts I could I was already slightly a minimalist but only in the sense of materialistic things But after I went there, I realized that I don't need much in my life to be grateful for the life I already have, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, that, and if I'm feeling that I'm getting sad or something, it's just because I'm not appreciating what I already have. Mm. You know, I'm not grateful for the things I already have. Mm. I feel like this is the and uh, it's off. also very uh, very irony that the uh, a lot of India they say uh -huh. that cow is my mother and we worship and blah 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 and they clearly don't give a fuck when cows they are eating trash mm -hmm. and they're eating really harmful stuff yeah there is no people to rescue them yeah. you know and that's really sad too like there is there's something happened in my city mm -hmm. during the Diwali one cow ate one big cracker Ooh. and because it, when he, it was chewing it, it blasted oh my god and, uh, the cow the, her face got blasted yeah and, oh fuck that was that was so sad and these yeah. things happen in um, yeah probably uh, on the no, other no one, no one gives a fuck yeah and especially I think uh, I'm sure like there are like people they have like these community organizations mm -hmm. and all of that But I don't know. But, but I feel like, do you think it's because like people have the priorities and put food sometimes on the table and, you know, it's just like, or I, I don't know. That part, no, I don't know. The, okay, uh, I, I understand like it's a poor country. Yeah. And But there is also a lot of corruption. Yeah. And there is like everything for uh, every department It's exist like exist for you things, feel like, um, but they don't work properly because of corruption. One of the things that I felt, especially de do <coughs> dealing a lot with our documents and bureaucracy and uh, getting the visa, then mm. uh, we got married and all these things, right? It, it felt like it was a lot um, that the state is not there to actually help you. Yeah. Is there, like, is like, Everyone, everyone for his, for himself, right? Mm. So that's a completely different, uh, very different thing. And, and for me, like if I go, like we went, we went to the Munisip, right? Yeah. We went there and what happened? We had a meeting and they will assist us. They will help us. They, you go there to take uh, information and if you need something, most of the things they will give you, they will give you the documents. Mm. Oh yeah, uh, don't worry, next week you're going to have it. Like everything is very quick. There is no, they, 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 it feels like they, there is no system. There, there yeah. is a system that works, but in India, there is the system that is supposed to work. And then there is the actual system. System, which works on the back. Oh, yeah, works on the back. Which actually works. And uh, I but felt like that part for me was like, okay, wow. I actually have to spend so much fucking money, money to just get a document that I should just get it for free, for free yeah. in in a few days, but they don't want to give me, mm. and the uh, problem they'll put me like in the back line. They, so that part I felt like th those are w is is one of the the reasons why I felt like man, it was yeah. could be really really hard for me to live here mm. in the long term or build a family. Because or you learn the system or you're pretty much fucked. Yeah. You, you can't or you have survive. a lot of money. I think ev I feel that and it's my opinion that uh, most of Indian people 
they are they have done corruption or they have been involved in corruption because you cannot live without yeah yeah paying money they have like, definitely done you, corruption probably mo- once in a life at least <laughs> yeah I, i would say most of them probably did yeah. yo bengazi welcome welcome to the stream um you know Thanks accepting accepting corruption not everyone because not everyone is in a probably in a uh, a power place you know uh, a job that you know they get but definitely to get shit done yeah most of the times you have to go around you know yeah or knowing someone that knows how the you know the system works and they're coming so i mean uh, mm, it is we had dope. to learn we had to learn otherwise you know what we will still be stuck in india if yeah, we didn't learn still, our ways that's true yeah yeah that a lot of people don't show for whatever reason but it's reality and uh, it's quite jarring and dare i say disgusting it's disgusting to see a a cow eating trash i don't like it people are great but uh i must say they do live in uh less than fortunate situations but for some reason situations like that do make some of the best people in the world i think um, the people that are not trying to sell you something and they're not trying to take your money are are, are awesome but yeah. unfortunately a big percentage of the population is trying to scam you at least in delhi i found in varanasi so far people have been really <laughs> that's chill. so true that's exactly what i said you know but yeah. you it was still, there's still hope and i feel like if you go outside of certain places mm-hmm. in certain to certain cities you definitely will will be okay yeah delhi is definitely full of scammers i would say Oh, look at this one. Gange. <laughs> Gange. For 50. Nah, 100. 100. Oh, okay, okay. Tike. Tike. Oh shit. I'm shaking on this thing. We we never went on these ones. No. Off to the river Gange we go. I could not handle carrying my bag. It must be this new building. Like mm. mm. I feel like this is my chariot. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, oh wow. This is lit, dude. We're in the thick of it right now. Oh. This reminds me of old Delhi though. Mm. Right? Yeah, old Delhi is ma- mo- uh, much crowded than this. This is very refreshing. I feel like <coughs> After that Reminds me of uh, uh, Lucknow also. Mm. In a way. Like that old old the zone. Moments like these make it all worth it. I feel like a little boy. I feel like I'm 5 years old again. <laughs> I is I think just enjoying the yeah. rickshaw. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, so I guess we're really close to the Gange River right now. And as you can see the vibe has completely changed. Very very fast pace here. Yeah, this is the crowded area. I think we are in tourist central right now. I tell you what, man, do not come to India if you don't like horns. <laughs> But if you're a horn lover, <laughs> <laughs> it is insane oh, chat. God. Okay, I I want to ask <laughs> is it only in India or the, in other countries this also happen like in in South uh, Asia because yeah. the horn thing it is all the time. <laughs> it's wild. It's wild. It is so wild, man. It doesn't make any sense. It's like mm-hmm. horn like here you you use the horn whenever you're in danger mm. or you want to avoid an accident or you see someone doing something that they should not supposed to do mm. that's how you you should use the horn but mm. over there is like for everything and <laughs> all the time it also comes uh, because of frustration mm. <laughs> crowded people are frustrated sometimes yeah it, yeah. it happens <laughs> in majority <laughs> of <laughs> asia <laughs> oh I kind of wanted to to see other places. Um I I am very curious to to travel a bit in uh, Asia. South Asia mm. or Asia in general just to see because I I saw the majority uh, or like a big part of uh, India, right? Except south maybe yeah. and in the the other uh, the other yeah, yeah. side more like to the China. But besides that, I think I got a, a a decent picture of what it's like to be in India, you know, living here more or less. 
So I'm curious to know like how it is in other places. And now mm. it's food. Mm. I, I'm always that, that's the main the main reason why I always travel is for food, you know? Yeah. No, it's okay. If you're a horn lover, this is your place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Where is the river? I, I, if you have a house, you badly need like triple glass yeah. windows. Yeah. Or double or something. You you can't sleep. Uh, you can't sleep with these these horns. I imagine, like imagine you trying to have a stream room. In, in you know you live near these. It's gonna be meh 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 all the time. You know you cannot yeah, stream you like can't that. Do that. Let's get to the river. Where's the Gange? Mm. The Gange. River, river. Um, um, river. This way. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Is Gotta the high alert for scams in this area. High alert. Not also not to get hit. I feel like this is scam central. I just asked that guy for directions and he's like, come with me, come with me. I said, no sir, I just need you to point. Alright. This feels like something. Wow, this is, is it like a market area? My nightmare. I do not like this. I'm gonna leave immediately. This was a mistake to come here. This is way too much. I like the more chill area we were in. Come on, India, I'm waiting for you to wow me. I'm waiting for you to wow me. So far, it's been subpar. Very, very hit and miss. This is a big miss right here. This is a fat miss. Uh, but I feel like uh, if you went to Delhi and to this place... No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Okay, do you think going to Delhi and this place is like the original exp Indian experience? No, India is very big. It, it's very big, right? If you right? go to South, it's a completely different experience if you go to no extreme yeah. But people north. don't know that. Here, people don't know that. I Like, yeah. whenever they think about... Like, if I tell my friends, oh, you have to go to India, this is what they are expecting, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah, I can understand. This is exactly the type mm. of experience they think they're going to have, mm. you know? So, do you think that they should go and have this kind of experience? I, I will say, like... David will fucking hate this. Yeah, that, 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 <laughs> I, no. I think so. No, that's why I'm saying like, there are like two types of people, okay? Some like travelers. Uh -huh. Some people, they just go to travel to just chill. Uh -huh. And some people, they I, are just I, wanderers. They like, they, they just go well, and I explore always say with people and all that this. stuff. But this, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, but this particular situation can be overwhelming mm -hmm. for some people yeah especially if you are you are coming from a completely different reality yeah you know so i, I always say to my friends it's like if you want to chill go to other place you know have a nice vacation you know beach you know all these things a resort or whatever you want to do mm -hmm. but if you're looking for that adventure and if you're looking to see the other side mm -hmm. You know, to give you some perspective in life, I highly recommend to go to India yeah. and especially these places. Yeah. You know, go go to this city. Go to because also, for example, if you go to Goa, it is a very different experience. Yeah. You may fall in love from India, like if you go to Goa. Mm. If you go probably to Mumbai, you know. Mm. But if you start going to these cities, then I feel like you you are more hitting of it. I think mm. Mumbai, in that sense. It doesn't have the same impact as Delhi had to me, mm. you know. Uh, uh, unless whenever I got stuck, like I I I moved away from Versova in you know because I stayed in Mumbai, but I was like Versova in that like South Mumbai, so I was always on the shore. Yeah. But whenever I went a bit inside and I got stuck like in that area that I don't know which one was mm. it. Then I was like, oh, okay, this is kind of it's kind of mm. weird, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, Pradeep is saying, why is he not using Google Maps to find directions? True. But I think some people, they go, they don't change the SIM and they don't have Wi-Fi or not internet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they, people just travel without internet. Yeah. But I don't think he has a hotel or anything. I think yeah. he's just like going around and trying to find something, yeah. you know? Uh, so I think it's just like going around. Oh, no, okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh
No English, no English, sorry. Okay, no this English. part, sorry, I sorry. agree, is annoying. Indian helicopter. 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 What are you talking about? Indian helicopter. Okay, this is... You're crazy, bro. Where, 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 where? Sarma. Where are my friends? No, that's okay. Airport? What? Airport? Sorry, no, no English, no English. What are you, Deccan? <laughs> what? Deccan? Train? Train? No, 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 no. no. Train? Tintan? Alright, I'm going to walk this way. Are they cab drivers? I don't know. Alright. Alright, let's escape, let's escape. Oh, they're following, they're following. Yeah. Jesus, oh, India. No, 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 it's okay. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Jesus Christ. I'll give it to them. They were kind of funny, but... So, so that's the, the thing that uh, this similar situation happened to me too that is like you don't want to be rude mm -hmm. so sometimes you exchange a few words mm -hmm. but then you want to go to your life mm -hmm. but what I learn is not I am not rude but I instantly say no mm -hmm. because if you uh, it happened like twice one in Mumbai in um oh, it oh, it once happened in uh, Jaipur some like a bunch of group they came to click the picture mm -hmm. and then you said no yeah like you said clear no yeah not in a rude way and yeah. they I, I was with you yeah and they they didn't come yeah so so but but that's how you have to do because like if you start engaging then you're gonna be in in this situation that the guy thinks he can get something uh, yeah. uh, out, of, out of it. And like you saw, like mm -hmm. first he was being friendly, but then he was asking, do you want to go to the train? Do you want to go to this? Then you he started go? getting irritated. And then it's like, okay, I just want to go to my life. So that's why I always say no. I, I Like if I want, I'll ask, but most of the times, and, and that's just how it is, at least as a foreigner. I'm sure like if you're not a foreigner or white or whatever, maybe you have a completely different experience. Mm. But for me, the experience I had is uh, that's how it is. You're not rude, but you say a straight no. You know, like, no. Yeah. I am not into this. I am not into this. All right, we're going to try this street now. It seems a bit quieter, a bit more my speed. I just cannot do that loud cacophony of horns and... I just can't do it today. Almost there. Ah, oh, hotel. You have room? No, sorry. No, no room. Oh. So, so... Oh, in front of this side. Okay, yeah. perfect. Thank you, thank you. This is the hotel? Hell yeah. You see these streets? Yeah. Okay. Small, small. Thank you, my friend. Almost there. Yeah. How about my friend? Yeah. You have one room? One, one person. One person. Uh, 1,600. Can you do 1,000? No, you can't do 1,000? Lastly, 1,000. Oh, is it? 1, no, I don't think <laughs> he's... Yeah. yeah. It's, I think, okay. normal. Yeah. Unmarried couples are not allowed here. What? <laughs> Unmarried couples are not allowed here. Thank God we are married. Yeah, now we don't have this problem. <laughs> Um, that's crazy. Especially for a hotel. Especially in a place where a lot of foreigners come. Yeah. They, they shouldn't be there, you know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's like more traditional thing. It's yes, a sin. it's a sin. <laughs> yeah. Maybe if you're like uh, very traditional or conservative or something, which I'm sure like this hotel is, but um. Yeah, it's kind of insane to me. Uh, but anyway, say travel with open mind and you will have a good time. Like I have had bad experience in South America, Chile and Panama was horrible. But that happens when you travel and that's part of traveling. Yeah, that's 100%. Uh, I need to see the room first. Uh, you remember, I, in luck, now I got in such a bad room. Bad. Massive stains in my... In my sheets, I asked for new sheets, and the new sheets again came with big stains. Mm. I was welcome to my fifteen dollar apartment for the night. Looks like it was a uh, a crime scene at one point. 
Looks like uh, maybe uh, a couple of murders happened in here, so I'm gonna lock the door tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Feel like I'm warming up to India at this point. You know, we had a rough start, but uh, today was a good day. Anyways, guys, see you tomorrow. Peace. It was a bit rude, or maybe a bit like uh, too upfront in the face, you know, especially in the beginning of the video. Um, but I don't, I don't think nothing he said shocked me or that a foreigner that goes to this place, especially if he comes like, uh, for European countries, the first place he goes to South uh, Asia or to India, they will, they will think like I didn't get shocked of anything or any thought he actually had. Uh, there's a lot of things that I relate. Maybe I don't act exactly in the same way a, a, as he does, mm -hmm. but it is very related. And, and that's just part of it. You just got to live with it. Like you just are there and then you're going to go out. That place will always be that place, you know? Yeah.